Here we have a variety of multi-dose syringes, uh, all of the 50 cc uh, quantity. These are very useful for administering vaccines in cattle and very popular nowadays. On my left here, we have two Allflex syringes. Allflex syringes are available just about everywhere at farm supply stores, veterinary clinics, and so on. There's also a number of parts. This is probably the most popular syringe that you'll see uh, used in Western Canada today. What's nice about these syringes is that it's easy to see the volume that you will be administering. So here we have two milliliters. That's common for many of our vaccine products that are being administered subcutaneously nowadays. There's an arrow right here to indicate that you are on the right volume and it's an easy to turn dial. These syringes uh, have a plunger mechanism, okay, that works like this to uh, fill it, basically put the appropriate needle onto the end of the syringe, insert it into the bottle, depress this button here, pull back and you'll fill your syringe. When you're ready to start administering, just squeeze the handle, the button pops up, you haven't pushed any product out and you are ready to go. It's really important with syringes to make sure that you don't mix up product. These two syringes are labeled. This one is for modified live. So that way that we're gonna make sure that we use all of our modified live vaccines with this particular syringe. This one here is marked killed. This one is to be used with say black leg vaccines or other killed vaccines. It's important to pay attention to that because some of these vaccines have different chemicals in them or adjuvants or what have you uh, that might render the other one inactive. So it's nice to stick with the same syringe. Really important to remember is producers use these multi-dose syringes for administering uh, vitamins. And vitamins, vitamin administration, um, although it can work with these type of syringes, you should really identify a syringe that you're going to use for vitamin administration and stick with it. Vitamins are very sticky and very hard to clean from the syringes. In the middle here, we have a, a, an older variety of syringe. This one happened to be sold with Ivamec Epronex about 20 years ago. It's a great syringe. If you have them, they're still very workable. Uh, you fill them but just by pulling back on this button, making sure that the, uh, the appropriate um, quantity has been set here. This is two milliliters, there's the arrow. And then you can just pull back on the plunger like so to fill the syringe. Once you're ready to start administering, just squeeze the handle and it locks it into place. So a very great syringe. On my far right here is a Ruse syringe. These are around, these are the most popular type. You can still get them today. Um, they are stainless steel. They're easy to take apart. You can uh, adjust the amount of pressure on the plunger here, making it easier or harder to depress. Uh, they're easy to take apart. Uh, earlier today, uh, I discovered the problem with these syringes is that the glass is really breakable. So I've actually happened to break this one. And that is why they're not so popular amongst producers now.